Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this short video, we are going to discuss few important concepts from the section of idiosecal tuberculosis. So guys, we all know the patients of idiosecal tuberculosis. They will present with history of weight loss, history of fever, and they can also present with features of obstruction features of obstruction or even loose tools loose tools so guys you are going to evaluate these patients with the help of cct abdomen cct abdomen so today cct abdomen is the investigation of choice for idiosecal tuberculosis and guys as far as idiosecal tuberculosis is concerned what you are going to find you will find that there will be thickening of the terminal ileum you are going to find there will be thickening of the terminal ileum and that will be more than 5 mm in thickness more than 5 mm in thickness it will also result in narrowing of the terminal ileum narrowing of the terminal ileum and you will also see that the cecum okay the cecum will be contracted cecum will be contracted it will not lie within the pelvis rather it will be pulled up cecum will be pulled up and you will also see multiple multiple lymph nodes in the in the uh, mesentery okay so here guys we can see that there is a circumferential enhancing thickening of the terminal ileum extending for length of 5 cm talking about the barium findings barium findings so there are very few signs uh, which are seen in patients with idiosecal tuberculosis one is fleschner sign gooseneck deformity sterlin sign and transverse ulcers so guys what is sterlin sign sterlin sign is rapid emptying of the rapid emptying of the involved segment of bubble loop rapid emptying of the involved segment of the bubble loop so the theory behind this is that so any segment of bubble loop that is involved for example your terminal ileum and cecum okay so because of the irritation by the tuberculous bacteria okay barium will rapidly empty from that segment of the bubble loop that is your sterling sign talking about the gooseneck deformity so there is there is widening of the ileocecal angle okay widening of this ileocecal angle because your cecum is pulled up and uh, the angle between the uh, terminal ileum and your cecum it widens giving the shape of a goose neck giving the shape of a goose neck this is your goose neck deformity talking about the fleschner sign so fleschner sign okay there is widening there is widening of the ileocecal valves widening of the ileocecal valves and and there is narrowing of the terminal ileum okay giving the shape of a inverted umbrella giving the shape of the inverted umbrella and this is known as fleschner sign this is known as fleschner sign theek okay? and in this image in this image in this um, barium meal follow through image you can see that your cecum it is pulled up cecum it is pulled up and you can see that there uh, the ileocecal angle is widened giving the goose neck deformity giving the goose neck deformity and sterling sign it is pooling of barium in a normal part and hyperparistalsis in the affected part so guys if you want more such videos do let me know in the comment section and let me know if this video was helpful to you or not so guys i have recorded a lot of uh, radiology sessions on the unacademy learning platform so guys you can download the learning app and you can use my code himanshu mamsi so these lectures are available free of cost to you and you can utilize these lectures you can utilize these lectures uh, to enhance your preparation and to uh, to revise your radiology in very short period of time so till then guys bye bye take care and keep working hard